Shimai GTA fans, over the next couple of weeks I'm doing a KO Perico guide and this is part one. So as you can tell we are going to be doing the heist intel. This is the first um, mission, if you can call it that, of the setups. And it basically involves getting in the helicopter, if you've hopefully bought it, and flying over to steal a plane. Best location is probably the Z Fort Zancudo area to put your Kazakh to set this one off. Um, because um, it's normally in the north part of the island, or this is the, probably one of the closest points. It's given us uh, Zancudo here. So I'm going to speed things up a bit here. There's going to be a lot of smugglers to take down, but they're no problem. Uh, probably the most problem is going to be other players, so you want to be in a solo session ideally. If you're not, then you'll just have to do as best you can with it. But the main uh, problem is going to be flying the aircraft out of there, because you need to cross the city or take a really wide berth to it. Um, I recommend flying over at maximum height. So here's the smugglers. We're just going to snipe them from a distance. And I've stupidly done this heist at night. I would not start it at night. I'd start at the daytime and get to the island during the daytime because it's a lot easier. <clears throat> you can see stuff. That's why during the day, you know what I'm saying? Alright, that's them all dead. We are going to go over and we are going to take on that aircraft. So I'll speed it up yet again. Okay, significantly speed it up there. And just need to not drive the aircraft into the sea to start off with. Dodgy takeoff. But it's all pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just need to avoid the hills. Don't do barrel rolls. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend taking the highest route, but for this one, for 2010, you guys, I'm taking the lowest. Because you could theoretically fly really low down to avoid the lock-ons. But most likely just try and gather as much height as you can if you're in a, a public lobby full of people and potential griefers. Because if a uh, Mark II can lock you on, they're going to probably lock you on and fire a missile. Here's a cutscene. So this is the, um, the second attempt at the heist. That's why you've got to go through the rigmarole of going and getting that car. Over at that hangar is where you have some loot. So there's two, no actually three portions of potential um, cash, coke, or weed. Um, the coke, and then the weed, and then the cash is the best. Up this ramp is uh, there's clothing in that corner sometimes in a blue box, but that time that was the wrong box of clothing it, um, because we want uh, uniforms. I'm going to take a picture of some of this uh, loot. Um, we're not actually going to land at the island because there's no uniform. There's also no truck um, because the truck will get you free access into the compound when you're wearing the uniform. The truck is normally there on the right hand side. Um, okay, so we're going to get in this this car and this Jeep, this Willy's Jeep. We could use that um, motorbike and that motorbike is better, but I'm just going to show you um, access to a different motorbike for in case um, you use that one up. And you need another one because um, it's very easy to um, get caught by guards or a tree, whatever you know. It's uh, very easy indeed. The trees as well, you not, especially at night, you get knocked off your motorbike on, on a tree. You're trying to find your bike in the grass. It's, I think it's still its lights on, so you're probably not too bad on the moped. So this is where the motorbike's located, and we are going to take it cross country. So we've got the. Um, this is the north dock up ahead, and we're going to bypass it, so we can go and have a, no a mosey. There's also another motorbike at the north dock as well, if you wanted to get one. For some reason, you can't find that one. Um, so we need to cross this road. Um, there's two guards patrolling on foot, so they're quite easy to avoid. And we need to go over this hump. We need to find the other road, which is on the left-hand side. So just make your way through these trees. And... Uh, we're just going to cross the road. Sometimes there's cars which are the bigger red dots, and they are, they can catch you quite easily. Now on this other side, we'd normally turn right, but we're going to go left to begin with because we haven't found the fun truck. Um, so let's see if it's at this uh, north dock. And looking here, let's have a look on the old camera. So normally you can take pictures on the uh, on the bike. So there's the truck. That's the one you're looking for. That'll get you into the compound as long as you're wearing a, a uniform. And the uniform is always... Well, actually, sorry, not always. It's sometimes next to the truck. Um, so if you take a picture of the truck... Um, yeah, it's not taking a picture. We're not near enough. I'll do it on foot. Um, so if you take a picture of a truck, um, it'll let register the truck first. 
but it won't necessarily register the blue box of um, uniforms which can be at, at the left hand side of that truck. So take another picture of the truck once that's been recognised just to see if it's there and that will capture the uniform if it's there and in this case it isn't so we're quite unlucky there that we've not found a uniform at the airport or, or the North Dock. Next we try and find our bike. Um, but it's um, easier than it looks. And there you see that tower in the distance, that, that's a guard tower, that uh, bright light. So watch the guard's um, cone um, as he sweeps around in a circle. So unfortunately I think he just started with his cone towards us so we're going to have to wait for the full sweep in order for him to get it because we're going to do we're going to do a jump over that um, ridge in front of us in order to get through this checkpoint it's very difficult any other way you can sneak past the gate which is um, over on the right of that tower and um, so we get back to the road and go through the gate that way but in this case we're going to wait for the guard he's looking directly at us now he's got eyes on so we're going to wait patiently um, you're gonna fail this this jump a few times uh, if you're not if you're new to it just try and do as I do kind of not enough power on that one we can still get over it though um, yeah maybe I should show you a, a better version um, but yeah let's let's just so you keep on driving around here and we're going to get back to the road. So watch the sea on the left hand side. Don't you fall in the sea. There's a road in front of us and you get cars driving up and down. So just watch out for the big red dots um, indicating the car. As they can catch you on that if you're not aware. And we're going to go through this paddy field. Uh, notice a, a guard and a camera there. There's also a car that goes across this road here. So pull a wheelie to get over that um, little kind of fence thing. I don't know what the hell that is and uh, climb this hill. We've made it. So this is where we're going to, the communications tower. So we'll do a pull a wheelie, jump over that. And we're looking for a signal box to hack the, um, the app. So this is a signal box in front of us. Sometimes next to that red trolley, there's some uniforms as well, but there isn't in this case, unfortunately. We're very unlucky that the three locations don't have uniforms so far, so maybe we'll get lucky at the other places. I hope so, because otherwise it's going to be a Kasaka approach again, because I'm not wasting my time looking on the island for more uniforms that are in obscure places that ain't useful. Okay, we just matched the numbers there, 34 to 34. You see that? Go back if you didn't see that, because normally you have to um, do this a few times. Um, it doesn't always do it first time, you need to move those wires around. Okay, so we got the app out there, the pink app. Now, keep pressing right, either right or left, just going one direction. Going right will get you straight to the loot, though. As we've already found the truck, we just look for the loot and then we're done. Oh no, it's tequila, that's the cheapest stuff that we have on offer, but we'll just have to take it at, at this point. We've got cash. That's good. That's good, you know. Yes. And a, photo, a picture. The pictures, the painting's good. The, I mean, the cash is all good. I mean, I, I say it's good, but it doesn't take up a lot of space on the uh, in the pouch. But we really want gold. Gold is the best um, item to be looking for. I've been getting like fours and sixes of gold recently. So, again, this is the upstairs office there. No paintings. If you're doing solo, you get paintings in the office, that's what you're looking for. There's cash again. Not good. And nothing. Keep going. Painting, good. That's good loot. I mean, gold, that's what we want. So golden paintings are good. So we'll be piling in those paintings and the gold at the moment and then the cash as a secondary. Unless we get more gold. There's the cash again. More cash. Yeah, I mean, that's good. I mean, we want to end up with full, full pouches on one go, but it's looking a bit sparse at the moment. Gold, good. I mean, three portions of gold would be ideal, because, but no, we haven't got three. We've got two portions of gold, two paintings and three cash. I don't think that'll fill our pouches. So I'm look, the reason why I'm looking outside, scanning outside, right, is um, you want to look at that road there. Sometimes on that camera, the, the uh, truck is outside. Also, you need to, for the first time, you need to scan those anyway um, because it's handy to have that truck. Um, but it's not a great location for the truck because sometimes the truck drives around the island when you land. I don't know if that's a glitch or what, 
but you have to um, basically abduct the truck while it's in transit, which is not good. You're not going to do that effectively. Um, this speaker tower as well, if you climb to the top of it, you can actually parachute off and go to the next location. So we're going to wangle our way to the, to the main dock and via the, um, the tower, the water tower. So the reason we're going to the water tower is there's two locations, potential locations of uniforms there. So we're going to go cross country here. If you have a parachute, it's a lot easier because you don't hit trees. Yeah, exactly. Um, but you do lose your bike, obviously. Um, so, but if you're at the top, just do your parachutes. You'll pick up a bike somewhere else. And I think on foot, it's not that bad. It's not that bad a deal once you get over to the water tower. So just keep on rocking. Um, as ever, be aware of that road and cars that we're coming up against. Um, so there's a car there, the big blob. It's going away from us. So that's good. Um, water tower there, dead ahead. And there's a walking guard who goes up and down this path, and he covers both lo uniform locations. So he's walking away now. So if we go um, and have a look around this corner, so where that red trolley is, that's where the uniforms are normally location located in the blue box. It's not there now. Of course it's not. I mean, the chances of it as not finding a uniform yet is pretty bleak, pretty slight, you know? Right, next to this World War II barracks on the right is, um, that's where potential uniforms are, which are not there yet again. There's also some powder that you can put in the water tower to slow down the guards. Now, be careful around this corner because sometimes there's a camera up there. But here is some loot. So what have we got? What have we got? So, what was that? Cash. Cash is good. So if we don't have full pouches, we can run down the hill and get that cash there. Now I'm going to drive across um, across the docks. There's another loot location in this uh, cage here. Watch out for that guard on the left. He walks around anti uh, clockwise, I think, so we're pretty safe here. Unless I'm wrong and things have changed, which I'm not good. Marijuana, not very good. Um, it just takes up space. It's rubbish. I'll get cash instead. Right around here and we need to pop a wheelie across this little tow bar thing yeah I guess over anything is bike but you need to do it right um, we're gonna go around to where that camera is located and we're gonna poke our camera our own camera through the window um, not the window the uh, mesh this is um, this button on the left hand side is what opens the door for this that that just fell off that's how you open the door in the actual heist but we're not going to do that right now. We can't do. It doesn't let you. And you need two players to do it, annoyingly enough, as you'll see in my heist guide. My solo heist guide. Which I don't think that used to happen before, but maybe it did. Maybe I'm wrong. But Actually, that's a porcupine. So we got... Um, sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three loot items. So that's good enough for us. We've got coke, so coke is excellent. We've got enough loot now, so we can get caught at this point. Um, we've not got the uniforms so it's going to have to be either the, the Kazakka or a sneaky um, bolt one from the outside. I think the Kazakka is going to be the easiest because you, you're going to, it's easier to sneak around afterwards after doing the heist I suppose. Actually you know you've got a helicopter chasing you. So yeah that is pretty much it. That should give you everything you need to know to make a decision on your entry point. So this is what I normally do and then I'll decide if I've got a uniform um, at least a uniform then I'll do an entry from the outside uh, if I've got a uniform and a truck and the fun truck that is ideal for an entry from the outside and um, that is the if you're not used to it then that is the best way of doing it without the truck you have to shoot guards at the entrance to the compound and uh, without uniforms it makes it even more difficult because you got to use stealth so for this mission I would use the Kasatka in contrast to the long fin bolt for the outside insertion. So it's going to be inside insertion basically, which is the easiest way to start it anyway. I'll cover approach vehicles in my upcoming videos, um, which include the other prep missions um, for this heist. Also, I'll be doing the KO Perico heist solo for the very first time. Uh -huh. So do like and subscribe to keep in tune for that content. But overall, have a great day and a great heist, and thank you very much for watching. Oh, look at that antisocial bugger doing a heist all by himself. What an idiot.